Hello everybody and welcome to Camping Corner. Yippee Skippy, it's Saturday and today's the last day of the show. It is. The, the last day of, not the show, the sale. The sale, yep. Yep, it's Saturday morning for the show. <laughs> so good morning, everybody. Yep, uh, we're awake. We're still getting there. <laughs> you betcha, no, not enough, you know, not enough caffeine this morning, but anyway, hello America, I'm Tony. I'm Mallory. And you're watching Camping Corner, and we've been getting a lot of questions and discussions about four season um, livable campers. Yes. So we decided we'd do some things maybe a little different today and take a look at some stuff that somebody could live in um, year round. Yeah, definitely. So what's the first one we're gonna check out? <laughs> we're gonna check out an Outback. You're blocking it. <laughs> I know, I am blocking that's why I'm moving. Outback. <laughs> so this is the 2021 Outback 341RD. Super cool floor plan. Um, takes a lot of its design. Um, from a fifth wheel yeah. so this is a travel trailer or a bumper hitch or you know a towable unit as as you will uh, big huge power awning with led lights um, it's got your solid steps it's got your big grab handle but all the really cool stuff mallory's going to show you inside <laughs> here we go <coughs> So one of the best features for me personally in this camper, if you're going to be living in it full time, you have plenty of seating area. So you've got all kinds of space. I mean, people like a big living area when they're going to be living in them full time. When you're a big old boy, you need a big old <laughs> sofa to sit on. That's right. So this coach definitely gives you that nice big living room. You've got a nice kitchen area as well with lots of storage. Um, and you do have a bed slide on this one as well. So you get more space in the bedroom. Um, Tell them about that. Tell them about that. What, the recliners? Yeah. What, do they recline? They're recliners. They are recliners. Kick back, relax. Boom. And they're wall away, so they'll go down farther. So, yes. you know, on Sunday when you're rooting for your favorite nap car driver. Nap <laughs> car driver. That's right, nap car. Anybody who tells you that, that that you watch a NASCAR race from beginning to end, lying. You watch the first 10 laps, you you sleep from lap 11, you know, and if it's a 200 lap race, you sleep from lap 11 to like 190. I was going to say, yeah. And then you watch the rest of the race. Watch the, just a few laps. So you've won about 20 laps total. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then the highlights, you know, on replay. <laughs> oh my gosh, can't believe I missed that crash. <laughs> So yeah, Outback is one brand that we have that is great for full-time living. You've got that fully enclosed underbelly to keep that heat in. Um, they do offer a lot of space. Like we said, the bed slide and the big kitchen room, kitchen is the biggest areas of... Plus one of the coolest things I think about this unit technology-wise is the fact that this unit's got full automatic leveling jacks, mm -hmm. including the power tongue jack. Yes. So it even has the hitch return setting. So your truck and the trailer, when you go to back up after you've leveled it, when you go to, to leave the campground, at the touch of a button, it raises the tongue jack back up so you can back right underneath it. It knows exactly where you left off, basically. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, this is a great one. Yep. So let's check out one more in the showroom, and then we'll do two outside. Okay. Here we go. I know, but they didn't get a commercial break. Oh, true. <laughs> so this is the uh, Cougar. So this is a great floor plan. Uh, this is the 316 RLS. Again, heated and enclosed underbelly, not only by the furnace, but by 12 volt pads. Exactly. A couple cool things I think on the outside. Not only do you have the big power awning that comes back over the door, but on your campsite slide, you have an awning here, so almost the entire side of this unit's underneath awning. So when the weather is nice and you're not in Indiana, you can sit outside in your lawn chairs with an ice cold beverage, you know, yeah. uh, maybe your little Weber grill cooking, doing all that stuff right there, all from your lawn chair. <laughs> uh, it is like a heat wave right now in Indiana. Though. I know, it's, you know, stuff's melting. I know, it's, it's crazy. You know, welcome to mud season. <laughs> that's right. You know, anybody that's got pets that lets them out in the yard, you know. Oh, it's a disaster. For the next couple months, you got little muddy footprints. Yeah. 
your floors will, will yeah. not be clean. We tried to teach our dogs how to do the wiping their feet on the <laughs> rug. Um, they grabbed the rug and run around the house okay. with it. <laughs> well, let's go inside All and right. check out. So, rear living room floor plan, great big sofa back here, trifold sofa, makes a bed, heat and massage in the chairs, oh, comfy, <laughs> USB chargers, so you can charge your phone, Yep. so if you're streaming to the television, maybe you're watching Netflix or Hulu or, or Peacock or NBCSN watching a Supercross race or anything like that, you can keep your phone charged. Got the fireplace, you know, all the great stuff in this unit. No, it's definitely, it's good. And the other nice thing, full residential refrigerator, which is awesome. To keep all those goodies in. Yep. So you also have over behind where Mallory's standing is the coffee bar. So that's where you put your Keurig or your, you know, espresso machine or Nespresso machine or coffee maker, as it's called at our house. <laughs> um, you know, all that over there. But then you got all this food prep area. So you could put your air fryer, necessity, air fryer, uh, Instapot, necessity for some people, even though we don't know how to work ours, or a crock pot right there. So you got plenty of food prep area, solid surface countertops, bam, bam, single lever faucet with a sprayer. Good size island. It's about as tall, as long as I am tall. Yep. yep. So. <laughs> but super cool layout, you know, great price point, great unit, three-quarter ton towable um, as a fifth wheel, whether it be a three-quarter ton gas coach or a three-quarter ton diesel coach. Nice. Nice. As you can see, I got my hat on, which means we're going outside. Outside. Where it's still a little cold. No, it's not. It's like a heat wave. Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah, it's like 34. Everybody, take a look at this big, giant kitchen. A uh, four burner stove, big enough to fix a four course meal, because I'm not a chef, so everything that goes on a plate is a course. Um, I don't, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, salad and dessert and all that other stuff. You know, salad's like an appetizer. <laughs> dessert is like a necessity. I don't know why you don't have the dessert first. That way you can get the goodness out of the way, because how many times do you fix something and then... You just really want a dessert the whole time. Well, but you don't have room for the dessert. Because you're too full. Because you're too full for me and all the other stuff. I got it. So big, huge microwave. Big enough to put a uh, turkey in the oven. So no Cornish game hens for Thanksgiving if you're living in your camper. All the soft clothes cabinetry. <laughs> all that awesome stuff. Residential refrigerator. Massive countertops. All that cool stuff. I mean, it, it's got it all. Yeah, not only do you have a big kitchen area, but you get a big living area too. And it's got that openness. What do people love? They love an open floor plan, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you get that open floor plan, floor plan feel. Ooh, that was hard. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a really good setup. You know, and I've even had people that look up this floor plan to live in full time and have talked about like putting a desk over there by the window or whatever. But it's just, it's really neat. You can definitely make it work to a lot of different lifestyles for sure. Beautiful coach. You betcha. What what about the bedroom? Oh, let's go check it out. Come on, guys. So nice big bedroom. Look, you can fit in the closet. Can you shut it? <laughs> That's awesome. King size bed. <laughs> Window above the bed that opens, window beside the bed that opens, two other windows in, in the, the bathroom that open, or the bedroom that open. Storage, he a little bit of storage here. Yep. And then I love that you get eight drawers. How many normally get? You get like six, like four or six yep. on a standard yeah. dresser yep. in an RV, so. Super cool. Yes. And, then, and then a great bathroom. Look at this. The thing is huge. And it's got a seat. So you can shave your legs. Okay. Tony, <laughs> Tony likes to shave his legs. You betcha. Even even got this. So your wife doesn't say quit slamming the toilet lid. <laughs> you know, 
big huge shower, even a place for a little thing to hang your loofahs from, put your shampoos and all that great stuff. Skylight, so even somebody that's uh, you know taller than I am uh, can get in here. It's a little soap dish, all that stuff. Glass doors, boom. <laughs> Got all the cool stuff. What else are we going to go look at? Let's go to a Montana. Montana. Okay. All right. All right. So last but certainly not least, we've got the Montana 385BR. It's a little bit different floor plan. I think we've done good this time showing a little uh, yeah. bit different of a floor plan. Montana High Country. Yeah, this is a Montana High Country. Montana High Country. Yes. 385BR. Super cool. Mallory's all the way down there in the living room. Yes. We're going to go to Mallory <laughs> on location in the living room. <laughs> Here Take we it go. Away. Take it away. So this is a lot like the Cougar that we did see in the inside. You've got your fold-out couch, your reclining seats. You've got your fireplace with your entertainment center as well. And you've got a really nice kitchen area with your island, you know, your microwave. Nice, huge residential refrigerator again with big pantry and coffee bar. But I'm going to let Tony show you what really makes this fifth wheel different. Hello, America. I'm on location in the BR part of the 385 BR, which is the bonus room. Check this out. So in the bonus room, there's a sofa that folds out to make a trifold bed so you can make this a guest room. But it's also got a built-in desk. This is a place where you could sit down and write postcards and send us pictures and tell us how great everything is. Because, you know, everybody still sends postcards. Nobody sends emails anymore. <laughs> Everybody's doing postcards, you know, wish you were here, all that great stuff. Lots of cabinet space up overhead, USB chargers, electrical outlets, place for a television. So it's even a place where... If you're living in this coach full-time, you could put a television in here. And if somebody wants to watch a cooking show and somebody else wants to watch a football game, instead of arguing over the televisions, somebody can still sit in here. This could be made a craft room. The sofa could be taken out. I've had clients that have taken the sofa out and put a crib in and made this a baby's room. So there's a lot of different opportunities. So let's go to Mallory, who's someplace else <laughs> in the coach. <laughs> On location in the hallway. So, you've got a nice big loft area up here. So, if you've got kids, it's great extra sleeping space. If you don't have kids, it's great extra storage space. Kind of whatever you want to use it for. Then you've got your big old bathroom. And then your bedroom. It's a nice big king bed. Another big closet. I can definitely stand in it. I won't torture you with that again. <laughs> but nice big closet. And then you do have washer dryer prep in here as well. If you don't want to use that great extra storage closet space. So thanks for joining us guys. Keep sending in the requests for the units that you'd like to see. I know, you know, silliness kind of ensues when we do stuff, but uh, taking you through about four different units that are um, uh, four season uh, livable units, yep. you know, travel trailer, fifth wheel design, so on like that. So till next week, we'll see you guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. -bye. See ya, bye.